it's very important that you leave Belgrade and that you see different parts of Serbia because Belgrade is definitely not the only city that was bombed. You know, NATO called most of the destruction that was done to the infrastructure and the civilian casualties collateral damage. From the start, it has made every effort to minimize collateral damage to make sure that civilians aren't killed or wounded. Talking about that collateral damage, there's a bridge near the city of Nish, which was bombed at the time when the train, a passenger train, was passing through the bridge. And so we're going to meet people that were on this train. Explosia i plamen ispod lokomotiv. I lokomotiva po ceo voz je skako, ja mislim, pola metra. Kako nismo ispoli nesta? Tonight a NATO airstrike hits a passenger train on a bridge in Yugoslavia. NATO says it was not intended as a target. Despite the civilian casualties in that attack, NATO says there'll be no let up in the bombing campaign. Sam već skočio, onda sam postavio nije šta je, da je bilo bombardovanje. Znači, u tom trenutku, samo prasak, prašina, eksplozija, ništa. Spasevalo živu glavu. Čuli su se avioni, onda je opet bila eksplozija. Briska, leli. Our colleague was in the military, right? And he was located near the bridge when the other rocket hit him. And they were all different. Why? Why are they in the military? Why? 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 There is no need. When we were in the Socialist Socialism, where we were little kids, where it was all peaceful, 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 where it was all peaceful. I muči me to, ovaj... Ako su videli šta je? Ako već prva reketa bila greška. Mislim, gde su ostale tri? Pa isto kao i kolega, zašto? Znam to. Jer posle treće rekete možda vi zamislite, znači oni neće prestano da gađaju, mislim, to mi je jedino u glavi. Kad su oni posle dve rekete, pa prošle, ne znam, pe šest minuta, još jednu reketu, pođe kampanjolo, pođemo se na gore, ja se ukrenem još jedna, to je ta četvrta reketa. Mislim, znači, ovo me nema kraja, kao da ja sam... Ne da sam zbunjen, nego mislim, možda mislite nešto što je neverovatno. I zašto? Šta kad se njihovi, mislim njihovi, kad se drugim civilima tako nešto misliš, mislim, koje opravdanje, nema opravdanje. I don't understand how the world can let NATO not say sorry for this. Mistake, not a mistake, collateral damage, civilian casualties, you can call it whatever you want, but people died. Have you ever heard of the village called Murina? I know that it's a small village in Montenegro, and I read about the NATO bombing there, but I couldn't find any real information. I know that six people were killed and that three of them were children, but that's all I could find. It was in a list. So it was on, only on the list of casualties? Of casualties. Yes.
Tako je to danas, da? Evo ođe je bila šatka jedna, pa su je tu. Evo on je prije, on ti je ođe bio. He was here. I onda pričaju ovi što su, oni su vidjeli odnut i njemu duva ona od bombe skinula mu je ono što je imao je dus. I taj mu je skinula i bacila u lim u vodi. I oni su mislili da je on otišao i kaže Miroslav ode u lim. Međutim kad su došli tu oni su našli su njega tu. Mene nisu dali da uđem ili neki ostane u sjećanju kakav ti je bio. A Mirku ne no ti moraš da ideš da hoćeš, ako hoćeš. Kako li neću? I onda je on otišao. Šta je imao šta da vidi? Komati cijel. Glava tamo pored bačena. Bez ruke, bez noge, bez glave. Eto tako bi. Idioti. To monstru mi ne bi uradili. Nemam riječi šta bi rekli. Ludaci, to su ludaci. U kesu najlon su ga strpali oni, pa u sanduk ga stavili. Ne obuče, ne obuve, ništa. Ništa. To mi je najteže od svega. Najteže. Ko životinju, ko ne, nemam riječ što bi rekli. A prodanica je bila ovako od ovdje u ovdje. U prodanicu, uz prodanicu ona mala izgorela sva bombe. Mi smo živjeli u Prištini. Osnovno je bio taj strah od tog tih terorista od oslobodeške vojske Kosova koja se tamo već bila. Tako da onda sam ja insistirao da da njih četiri odu tamo. I tako. Tako su se obrale tamo. Ja sam obezbedio prevoz i tako. I ja sam ih odveo tamo. Tog dana se kao najavio taj moj bađa da će doći za praznik, za 1. maj. A sve one krenule da kupe, sad sad znam da li prašak za pecivo, da li već kako to ide za kolače. Ove dve mlađe su bile kod škole, a ove dve su starije pa su potrčale sa tim jednim dečakom, Miroslavom Kneževićem, koji isto poginuo sa njima tu. I negde oko devet, ja mislim da sam čuo da je bombardovano Murinu u Crnoj gori, da ima žrtava, izbjeglice iz Prištine poginule, da su deca i tad mi je bilo jasno. Došao jedan moj kolega sa nekim vozilom, ja sam otišao, šta znam gde sam, tu sam se negde muvao. Sede on je, kad sam ga vidio, onda sam već znao šta je, samo sam pitao da li su sve ili... ili samo jedna. Zašto se to desilo? This is not a battle for territory. This is a battle for humanity. We're not uh, uh, targeting uh, uh, President Milosevic or the Serb people. The air campaign is going to continue. Šta je NATO? Skraćenica, nova teroristička američka organizacija. Zašto je se bombardovano? Niko i nije provocirao. Pa kako da se bombarduje tako jedno mjesto mirno koje ni čuti ništa? A bep u nas pobiše ni djecu i odrasle šest njih. To je mnogo za malo mjesto Murinu. Ona je inače amerikanka i došla je da vidi šta se ovde desilo zato što tamo nije mogla da čuje u... Možete samo reći ovo. Sodona i ponijela, Sodona, ove sve koji su u NATO. I Blair Kjez mi napravio namo na televiziju, pošto je, kaže, kolitorana šteta, kao greškom su to gađali. Posle se javlja i kaže greškom. Ubi djecu i kazat greškom. Prelijepe troje djece su bili. Nikad se nemali. Tri zgrade su otišle, Bog je kaznio. Te onaj gađao onaj. 11. septembra. Uživala sam, uživala sam. 
Žao mi je što narod ne zna, evo vi ne znate to. A uživala sam kad su tri zgrade otišli, to su tri djeteta na Murinu. Tako da kažeš tamo, rekla je majka i otac, to su tri djeteta s Murine. To su platili oni, no mi je žao, to je narodna strada. Gledajte vi ove članice na prijeve. Skotovi, bezobrazni skotovi. NATO nije bombardova vas. I tsunami, i sve će i razmijet. Sve i ponijelo. Ali da mi je da odvoji NATO pa da pada njih gaži. A kako ne potrefi u bilu u kuću, a ramu bilo ono me. Gledajte kako se, na primjer, Slobodan Milošević gubi 70 do 100 vojnika i policajaca. Kad smo sakranjivali našeg Miroslava, evo i tu, a oni, gled, kako su to naopako okrenuli. Vili vojnike, a on dijete. Novinari, gledajte, kako sakranjuju vili vojnike, a dijete sakranjuju. U Hrvatskoj objavljeno. On u Hrvatskoj objavljeno. Tamo sam imao iz sela nekoga koji mi je donio, kako naopako mi pušti smo, ko se nada da će oni to pogrešno da okrenu. Oni su rekli su grič. Eto, dijete moje zakrena, a oni to kako se krenuje vojnike. Kako jeste? Sve što... I promise. Da. Ajde. Nemo da i ništa ljepšaš, no ovako kako... Tako ste rekli, to ćemo da prenesemo. Baš. Što ćemo da 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 ćemo because I think for a lot of Europeans, a lot of Americans, it's not quite really clear what Kosovo means to Serbians or Albanians, why there's this fight for this land. And also the history of it, how did it become this way, that Albanians became the majority and started fighting for rights on another land. The only way you can understand that is if I tell you that, okay, now you have a lot of Mexicans crossing the border, and living in the United States, yeah, maybe in southern Los Angeles. You let them in, and you give them, you give them rights. I'm sure they have their own schools in Spanish. It's a big debate in America, but I think what you're trying to say is when because a minority becomes a majority. Can you imagine if immigrants in the States started demanding an area gaining independence from the U.S., and some third country back their cause and starts bombing Washington? Looks like it was just built. Because it is. Actually, this is Pristina. There is a hotel that I recognize that was there always. And now it's a huge, huge construction site. The street here is called Bill Clinton's Boulevard. And then you have this monument to Bill Clinton and an American flag. And it's quite ironic that in his hand, he has this paper with the date of bombing. And the Albanian people are grateful to Bill Clinton and America for gaining independence, although they have been victims of bombing themselves. NATO warplanes did fire on a convoy of refugees fleeing Kosovo. Yes, they had inadvertently killed some of the very people their bombs were intended to protect. This is a result of Mr. Milosevic's policies. If he doesn't want this to happen, he ought to get out of Kosovo. 
All I want for you is a good future, and I will do everything I can to support it. To support it for the rest of my life. Thank you, and God bless you. Thank you, Mr. President. There used to be a lot of Serbs living here, and this one is, uh, used to be a Serbian house, and then they destroyed it, and they put an Albanian flag there. So just that now people know that it's Albanian. So we are in Kosovska Mitrovica, which is a town that is now divided in two. This is the bridge, and it literally divides this town. You see, this is the Serbian part, the Serbian flags, Serbian and Russian flag. What's the significance of the Russian flag on because this side? Because Serbian people know that Russian people are the only one that protects them. My grandmother, she used to live on that part. The Albanian part. The Albanian part, yeah. Because it didn't really matter. In the times of Yugoslavia, there were more Albanians on that part, but they were quite mixed. So the Serbs stay on their side, the Albanians stay on their side. Yeah. And they're living in this kind of abstract world of unclear borders. Yeah. I think that you can just ask them something. I'm not sure if they can, if they have the authority to give you safety. They, they probably try. won't. Can we ask you a couple of questions? Is it relatively secure here in this area? No, I think yes. I just wanted to know when is the last time that they had clashes? It was like in 2005 or after that. Were there any problems among Serbs and Albanians on the bridge? I, uh, I don't know. I'm not. Uh, I'm not um, here in Kosovo uh, a long time. Do you know why NATO decided to bomb Yugoslavia? Yes, I remember. I see in the, the news. Ethnic cleansing. A modern day great terror. Atrocities, murders, the execution of people. This is the place where my grandmother's house used to be. In the Albanian, we're in the Albanian yeah, we're in the Albanian part, and uh, I don't even recognize it. I mean, I know by the address that this is where she used to live. So it looks nothing like what it did when you were a little girl? Nothing. She had a house, like a big house, but it was not this big. So she was obliged to go away. Uh, she's been living in the neighborhood which is like half Albanian, half Serbian. And sh they used to live normally, like uh, normal neighbors do. And after the bombing, she was one of the few people that left here. When she left Kosovo in 1999, there was only one family left here after her. And uh, they came one night, some Albanian friends, and told her, look, you got to go. I mean, we have heard from the Albanian Liberation Army, which they themselves called terrorists. They, we heard that uh, they're going to come tomorrow after you and they're going to kick you out if you don't go yourself. And where did she go? To Belgrade. To you? So she came to you. Is it hard to be here? Sorry.
since we've gotten to Kosovo, she's become very um, agitated, nervous, we're always rushing. And I think it's because it's really unpleasant for her to be here. And then coming to her grandmother's house, it was clear that everything she's been keeping inside for the time we've been filming uh, and the stories we've been hearing about people losing loved ones and uh, becoming, you know, the civilian casualties that were lost to the NATO bombing. I know this is hard for you. You okay? Yeah. I just haven't been here for such a long time. Yeah. And we've been filming so many people that you've been listening to their stories as a journalist and then... Yeah, and it's different because I've seen that uh, old part. This is the only old part that left. It's not my grandmother's house, it's her neighbor's house, but it's the same color. Yeah. And I remembered it. Yeah. So this is one of these bombs that fell on this small village. And this one must be some five meters tall. It's at least three of you. Yeah. But could it be dangerous that it was here for so long after? I really hope it's not. Wow. I'm sorry, it was a long... Thank you so much for talking to us. I know it's really difficult. Yeah. <laughs>